Okay, so today we are going to um, talk about Taylor's theorem and then we are going to define the order of uh, these finite difference approximations that we made. And after that, I'm going to solve a simple example for a, a finite difference method. So you see in general how we can approach these kind of problems, okay? So let's get it started. So the first thing I want to talk about, this is just a reminder for those who have, who have might forgotten this. It is uh, Taylor's theorem. Just a reminder for those who might have forgotten this, Taylor's theorem. So the Taylor's theorem states that given a function ux belonging to continuous m from w1 to w2 and a point x star belonging to the same range w1 and w2 for any point x belonging to w1 to w2 we can write the following. So for any point ux, uh, we can write u x is going to be ux star. So ux star is the point that we know the value of u in that. And then plus the first derivative du over dx at x star times x minus x star plus d2 d square u over dx square at x star x minus x star square over 2 factorial plus the mth derivative dm minus 1 u dx m minus 1 at x star x minus x star to the power m minus 1 over m minus 1 factorial plus the residual, which is rm. And where rm is dm, the uh, d to the power m u over dxm evaluated at a kesi and i'm going to say what is kesi times x minus x star to power m over m factorial where kesi is belongs to x and x star okay so this is a a general theorem that we are not gonna prove it here but 
uh, you should know it because we are going to use it a lot for these approximations. And uh, one thing that I want to tell you is this is, for example, if you know uh, uh, the value of function at x star, at uh, point x star, and its derivatives at the same place, then you can approximate ux any point in this uh, range uh, using the values of that function and its derivative at the at that uh, at that location like uh, x star okay and its derivatives you can just use this and this is exact and the error of this approximation is rm where rm is written as this the mth derivative of u with respect to x times x minus x star to power m over m factorial okay so this means as your if your delta x goes to zero we expect that ux should go to ux star right and this is evident from this formula and uh, so this is a general theorem that you need to know in order to be able to uh, work in these um, uh, final difference approximations. Uh, so now I want to give you a simple example of this. Uh, just again, as a reminder, these are, these are the things that uh, I expect you to know already. Uh, but uh, just as a reminder, I want to give you an example how you can calculate this. So write the Taylor series for sine x at x star equals to zero. Okay, so let's write this down. So I want to write, uh, for example, I want to write an approximation for sine x at uh, x star equals to zero and find the sine x where x is almost equal to, like, close to zero, okay? And I want to see how I can approximate sine x uh, at that uh, position, okay? So I'm going to write sine x as this sine, the value of sine evaluated at zero, plus its first derivative evaluated at um, zero. So it's gonna be cosine x, so it's gonna be cosine zero times x minus x zero minus zero, which is gonna be x, plus the second derivative of this, which is gonna be minus sine x evaluated at zero times x squared over two factorial plus uh, the third derivative of that, which is going to be minus cosine 0 times x cubed over 3 factorial. And this goes on and on, this list, okay? So this, these are just the first terms. So this is going to be 0, evidently. Uh, this is 1. Cosine 0 is 1. This is going to be 0. This is 1. So what we are going to have is the first term is going to be x here. The second term is going to be minus x cubed over 3 factorial. Then the next one is going to be x power 5 over 5 factorial. And this list goes on and on. Okay, so this is the approximation or the Taylor series of uh, sine x around zero. Okay. So this was an example how you can uh, use Taylor series and uh, to get uh, more comfortable with it. And now we are going to use this Taylor series, Taylor's theorem, to find the uh, truncation errors, the ones that we talked before, which are the, the major errors for um, numerical approximations, right? So we talked about machine error before, and now 
We are talking about truncation errors, which are the most important errors for numerical um, modeling errors. So, okay. So I want to talk about it as an example. Find the truncation error of previous approximations using Taylor series. So the previous approximations that we made, and uh, now I want to find their truncation error. So I can write uh, ux i plus one as ui plus one Right, and this I can use a uh, 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 Taylor series to write it as um, based on the value of u at x i. Okay, so I can write it as u x i plus the first derivative d u over d x at x i x i plus one minus x i plus d square u d x square x i x i plus one minus x i square over two factorial and this series just goes on and on and the same thing i can do for u x i minus one so i can write it x minus uh, u x uh, i minus one equals to just u i minus one that we had before and i can write it as x i again so it's going to be d u over d x at x i x i minus one minus x i plus d square u dx square over evaluated at xi xi minus 1 minus xi square multiplied by this over uh, 2 factorial and plus the other terms, okay? So now I want to see what is ui plus 1 minus ui that I had in my previous approximations, right? So if you remember, this is, for example, one of the approximations, correct? So I want to see what is that. So this is, I can write it, uh, so here I'm going to make a, simplification this is a forward difference right so i can write this as d delta x i and this is a backward difference i can write it as minus delta x i correct based on the definitions that we had so let me write this as delta x i the first term here, from here, you can see it's going to be delta xi times du over dx at xi plus delta xi square over 2 factorial times d square u over dx square evaluated at xi and plus other terms, right? So this is the way uh, we can write this down.
Yes. So now uh, I can write an interesting thing emerges and that is this term. So let's look at it. So I can say that du over dx evaluated at xi, which was the approximation I wanted to know here, for example, right? I can write this down as ui plus 1 minus ui over delta xi. I have to just um, divide everything by delta xi and then take this term to the left hand side. Then I'm going to have minus delta xi over 2 du d square u or dx square xi plus other terms, right? So now this is very interesting. Very interesting thing appears here. And that is, this is, if you remember, forward approximation, right? This is the forward approximation that we had. And this is going to be the truncation error, right? This is the error of this approximation, right? Because these... Um, Based on this theorem, this series is exact, right? So you can get the exact uh, value of xi plus 1 if you continue this series. So this is the truncation error here. So let me just... Uh, put it here because this is important. So this, the first one is going to be the forward approximation that we had. And then this is the truncation error. And this is important for you to know how you can get the truncation error of any approximation. And the second one I can do similarly for the backward approximation. So this was for the forward approximation, right? Um, this one was for this one and the second one i'm going to do it for the backward approximation which is this one so let's do it for that so i can write similarly du over dx at xi is going to be ui minus ui minus 1 over this time grad xi minus grad xi over 2 d square u over dx square at xi plus the remaining terms. And this is going to be backward approximation and this is the truncation error of this approximation. Okay, so this is important, how you uh, can find a truncation error of these uh, approximations. And uh, finally, I want to say that uh, if you do it for the central difference, the, the remaining one, I'm not going to do it here, but the truncation error for central difference scheme 
is going to be delta xi square minus grad xi square over 2 delta xi ds square u over dx xi evaluated at xi plus other terms. Okay, so this is the truncation error for central difference. For central difference scheme. And these are for um, backward and uh, forward approximation schemes. Okay, uh, so something I, I just mentioned quickly and then we will go through it more. As you see, the dominant, if delta xi equals to delta xi, grad xi equals to the delta xi equals to delta x, small delta xi, then um, you can see that this term is going to uh, go away. And then so we are going to have a higher order term. And uh, the other thing I want to say is in the, the forward and backward approximation, you see the dominant term is this one. And so we are going to talk about that, that delta xi is going to be the order of this approximation here too. Okay. So that is the next topic. When we want to talk about um, consistency condition and the order of approximations.